What are you doing, Birdie? Oh, nothing. Eating bonbons. You just waiting watching, for me? Watching Netflix in there. Are you waiting for me to tell you what to do? It's kind of like, I think I can't. This requires a system. <laughs> Do me a favor, if you're new to my channel, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and comment what you'd like to see in the future. Babe, did you, did you invite somebody? The hell is here? Can I, can I help you? Can I help you? Howdy. Uh, you're moving into the neighborhood. I'm a neighbor down yonder. Well, I mean, you just come over here trespassing? Well, I just wanted to know if you had heard the good word. The good word of who, sir? Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Oh. Jehovah's return. Oh, yeah, I know that guy. He's good. What's your name? Joffrey. Joffrey? Yep. Joffrey. I live right here. Yep. Well, come on in. All right. You look like you got a strong back. Oh, I know. guess. I guess I could put this old girl away, huh? <laughs> you doing some work? Some in here? No, I got the gun for you. Oh. Okay. Joffrey, welcome to Texas Beard Adventures. I'm B1, your host, and today we're back at the ranch. And I got old C9 here. Bueno, bueno. What'd you say, C9? Oh, uh, you know, just putting me to work out here. Yeah. C9 came out to check the place out. And uh, lend a hand. We already took a bunch of carpet out to the dump trailer, which I didn't figure y'all needed to see that. But we're gonna go ahead and finish getting this carpet out and get that wall out and probably take that studs out there. I love lamp. You got that other sawzall? Si, senor. You wanna start wrecking these uh, two buys on the bottom? Can do. All right. What's that? But there's proof that Bob Selke was in this house. Oh yeah? Yeah. Let's see it. You wanna see the proof? Yeah, what is it? You see the sweeping of the... Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. My father-in-law loves to make little piles. Mm. Good old Bobby Jean. All right, so well, Chuck is going to get his saws on. I'm gonna see about ripping this out here. So I learned the hard way on the last video model we did, you gotta cut this seam here because it allows you to pull the sheetrock down and not affect the ceiling because when you go back to patch it, if you just tear this out, it's gonna rip this and it's gonna make it look nasty and the repair is gonna be that much harder. So I always take my off. One side without sheetrock, except for this little bit right here. Now we just gotta get the other side. So I'll go into the closet, take that out. We got some shelves in there. Let's see. I don't know what I'm gonna do about these shelves. It's just wood. Probably end up taking those out.
with the amount of nails that were in that wall, Chuck? Yeah. You think you think that's about a thousand dollar wall? At least. Oh, it'll come down though. Got a big boy on it. Big boy. That's that's definitely structurally sound, huh? <laughs> she ain't wanting to come. She ain't wanting to come at all. Oh, Ida, 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 Ida. Come on. Are you too good for your home? There it is. Those aren't even ring shank, are they? Got all this wall taken out. The new office is gonna come from here. I'm gonna come down here. It's gonna go right there. So I think this would be my side over here. And that'll be Birdie's side over there. I'm gonna have a door kind of like right here in the middle. This will be the new office. She wants to take the gun cabinet out. What do y'all think? Y'all think we ought to leave the gun cabinet? I think we ought to leave it. She just wants to take all my fun aspects out of the house. No pot belly stove, no gun cabinet. What's next? No urinal? I mean, what's the world gonna come to? Where do you draw the line? 1987, they did things a little bit different. It must have been a mas master craftsman put this thing together who got nails on sale. I wanted to ask y'all, does the paint on the end of the two x four, does it mean anything? This orange paint on this, it's like orange, maybe reddish. I don't know, Chuck's colorblind, so I can't, I mean, he likes pink shirts and he thinks they're gray, so I can't really use his judgment. Just like your gray welder's cap? Just like my gray welder's cap. <laughs> These two by fours were on this wall right here and over here, just wondering if that paint means anything. I mean, they're on, it's on both ends of the two bys. So. Oh, I don't know. Oh, all right. My wet noodle. Oh, mama. There it is. There it is. Oh, this is great. Years of dust. Oh, Man, that was gross. You taste it. Here you are, Harold. What? You're a bunch of drama. I know. You know, I had an eight-year-old help me cut all of the freaking carpet and roll yeah, it up, and he didn't have a strip that big. And me. he didn't. Yeah, but you had Chuck to help you. I had Connor. Jump in there, Chuck. It's just like a giant foam pit, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> do a do a trust fall. You'll be fine. Don't worry about yeah. the tax strips. Yeah. <laughs> hey! You done? Know? Yeah, that's pretty comfortable. Yeah, yeah. I You're mean, gonna smell don't real worry about nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're doing good. Uh, just a little bit more right over there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing good, honey. You're doing good. Uh, it's like I've said before, guys. Somebody's gotta supervise. Normally I draw the short straw. So what are you what are you what are you doing with that thing? What are you what's going this isn't a javelin throw. This is not javelin practice. You're not a pole vaulter. Well that concludes this episode of Texas Beard Adventures. I appreciate Chuck coming over C9 to help out. I'm sure it did speed things along. And it helped not having the kids there although I like having them there to teach them things. We can get some more stuff done because we don't have to worry about them fighting over tools, wanting to do the exact same thing at the same time. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up button. 
Check me out on Instagram, at Texas Beard Adventures. Me and the wife and the kitties do all kinds of crazy stuff over there. Anything else, Chuck? Didn't get any nails in us today, so that's a plus. It's always a plus. We'll catch you on the flip side, you dang hillbillies! Now, try to run, you dang Land Rover. How many vices do you have? Half a dozen, probably. <laughs> good. Yeah. Oh. Way to go, friend. Fourth and beer. Patrick. Ain't sitting too good. Stop <laughs> <laughs> chicken, my chicken got loose. Hey, have you seen my chicken? 10% really got me going. Is that DNR? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, cook, so cook, cook those two. What does that mean? Salt, pepper, garlic. Nobody knows what it means, but it's provocative and it gets the people going. Ow. Oh, pretty bird. Bird. I'm gonna eat you with jalapeno in the middle and wrapped with bacon. Oh, pretty bird.